Good morning, folks. Good morning. This is Spirit Journey. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, this is Spirit Journey. And it's early morning. Today is Sunday, August 23rd, 2020. And the time is 3.34 a.m. Yeah, I woke up. And I'm thinking about one of the last things I was watching before I went to bed. Yeah, my voice, I'm just, I'm just waking up. And I want to talk about human labor. And I want to try to tie this all in with the state of the world today with this coronavirus lockdown. I think somehow they're all, it's all tied in the system, the, the whole stuff. I'm very disappointed about the world today and the so-called humans This has, has to, this has to stop. This is a beautiful planet. Beautiful trees, beautiful, beautiful. It has its natural beauty. But its human inhabitants do evil, evil things. I hope you guys could hear me. I did put on my, um, attach my mic. My voice is soft and a little hoarse because I'm just waking up. So I apologize if you can't hear me too well. I'm still in bed. <laughs> um, last night, I, I want to talk about this. Um, it was like a documentary. And it, it took place in Kuwait. Isn't Kuwait that same place that was bombed by, I think it was uh, Iraq? I heard over the, I, I heard in another program that Kuwait, okay, it's, it's oil rich, and each of the citizens are given by the government Six zero 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 money every year. That's sixty thousand dollars equivalent to American money. Every year, the people don't have to work. It is a social welfare that they get for the people, which is, which is pretty neat. That um. The oil that the government sells around the world, the money is divided up to the people, which is a, which is pretty good. It's 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 the people's oil. And um, share the wealth of it to the people. It has a small population. And they higher because they don't believe in doing housework, cleaning. So they hire help. And this hired help are from Africa and Asia. There is a network. And you have the middlemen in both continents, Asia and Africa. And they say, hey, you want a job? Okay. And they bring these people, Africans and Asians. And interesting that when it comes to Asia, they're specific about what nations they're coming from. 
But for Africa, they're not specific. They're all thrown in the same category. And, and I find that very interesting. When I lived in the state of Hawaii, that's in, a, in the Pacific Ocean, and it's, it's one of the 50th states of America, so it's, it's, it's American. When they have statistics and want to know by demographics, like the, with the Head Start program, they want to know where the people, where they're from who are in the Head Start program, and throughout the Pacific Islands and the indigenous people of Alaska, they are specific with these tiny nations, the exact names of these islands and its people. But for, for people of African ancestry, they just say, black. They don't give possibly, you know, names. You know, I guess in the Americas, the, you know, it's, it's uh, to obscure your identity, really, of who you are. They, they don't care who you are. They know who you are. <laughs> You're indigenous. So it's just that one thing I notice. And you have to have a passport. They, they, they bring you in. Oh, also, um, in Kuwait, okay, you, you're not allowed. I get this. When you get employed there, you know, to do housework, they call domestic or housekeeping, that you, you, you cannot leave. You have to stay there through the whole contract. You can't leave. You can't, you can't escape. You have to stay there with that employer. Um, you, you, you're not supposed to be a minor. You have to be at least, I think, 21 and up. But of course, they're getting young girls. They're lying on the uh, document, the, the middlemen. And they could be as young as 16 years old. And uh, what, what's happening, even though you have, like in Kuwait, they said the most progressive law, employment laws in Kuwait for human rights, but they're not adhered to. And so they're bringing all these people from Asia and Africa to fill the need for a housekeeper taking care of the children. And they're supposed to have one day off a week. And they're not supposed to have their passport confiscated. They, they're confiscating it. They're stealing the passport so they can't leave. And they do horrific abuses upon these women, young women. And in this program, they had an Asian woman. She could, she could have been from the Philippines. Yeah, they use a lot of Filipinos. And she had escaped her employer. And when you do that, not some of the women, it turns out that the women there who are being abused think that it's better to run away to the police station to be arrested because they just left their employer. And when you leave your employer, you get arrested. So they just go directly to the police station <laughs> to be in prison for three years and then they send them home. Now it costs money to keep prisoners in jail. So you could just wonder what they what's happening to them in jail. And the program of uh, focus on the, the, the Asian lady, I think could be from the Philippines. She spoke uh, perfect English. 
and she I think she's staying she's still staying in if I understood right living in Kuwait or somewhere because th- there's um, she she likes um, wants to protect the rights of the workers there in Kuwait as a representative and and they there's an app by Google. I the, what's I forget what it's called for 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 sale the letter four and then the, the name sale. It's an app by Google. That that's on on the Google platform, you know, with your smartphone. And they have a section on the app where uh, for for housekeeping, things like that. And they're being traded. So they get that gets the middleman. Oh we and they take the photo, the the, the, the people's photo, and then they sell them throughout the Arab world descriptions about them, their age and all that, their race also, which is illegal to ask for the race of the person. A lot of stuff, and and it's just done openly through this app. And they are traded. Oh, I give you this girl for such and such amount, this amount, and they buy them. And when they get there, they use them. And again, it's supposed to be like, let's say, a year contract or whatever. They sell them throughout. You know, they, they might work for someone for maybe three months, and then that employer, so-called employer, trades them, or sells them to another person on that same app. So they be for I don't know they they never said why they um, sell them, but they sell them at a higher rate. So it's so it's a a money making thing. So yeah, I, I need help. Oh, but um, let me see if I can sell her for more money. So also, they do not pay the girl. Okay. So they take her labor. Um, the one girl got paid for two months, and that's it. You could be there for a long time, and you don't get paid twice, maybe. So maybe not at all. And they may not know the language. So that's another thing. You're going to go to a foreign country, you better learn that language and the culture. They didn't know they were being sold to another person. So they're talking openly to them. You know, in those countries, especially the Philippines, you better start. If you're going to, the Philippines is a country that they export many of its women. Uh, and, and the men too. They, they work in the hospitality business, like on the cruise ships. They work in that. They also come to Hawaii to to come and work. Yeah, a lot of Filipinos in Hawaii. But I think primarily the the, the hospitality industry on, on cruise lines, and they work as um, the cooks and the cleaning people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. People are are selling their 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 own the people to work abroad, and so you you've even seen videos on the internet. See, it's open secret. I saw this one video. Home video of a woman um, tied to her feet, uh, elevated up in the air, and beaten. And you see, either it's a puddle of blood or 
urine or whatever below. Screaming, scream. These people, these so-called employers in the Arab world are sadistic savages. Sadistic savages. To, uh, I guess I'm, I, I guess I'm like old school in the sense you, you don't hit a woman. I mean, you never hit, you should never beat a person, a man beating a woman. You should never do that. But these people in the Arab world don't think anything or anything wrong with beating a woman and like that. What, because the, you didn't like the taste of the coffee? See, people in that part of the world, see, you have, I'm going to say it, see, these so-called religious nations, these so-called rel- religions is a haven for satanic worship. They are egocentric. They think that religion somehow seems to cultivate the worst of the worst and that they have a supremacy there too, the Arab supremacy over their neighbors. See, you know, the, the, the people, I mean, these places, they, they're not like a lot of people. They really don't have a big population at all. But they allowed industry in the oil industry. And it's a n- relatively new industry. And the Western world, the white world of Europe, And their diaspora does business with Arabs, fulfilling basically the um, the 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 so-called the the Bible in what was that? Um, I think it's Genesis, where it talks about the different major tribes. Uh, You have Shem. Ham and Japheth. And it says that Japheth and Shem, Japheth is like um, part, uh, parts of Asia. Shem is the primary, the Arab world. And Ham are the, what they like to label as the black races on the planet or Africa. And that Japheth and Shem will be like in a partnership. There, 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 there will be, um, I think Japheth will be like, oh, I forget exactly how I worded it, but would live in the tents. I think it's how that says it. Would live in the tents of Shem. There, there, there's some type of partnership. But those two will be in opposition to Ham, the black races, the dark races. And that's what's happening. So you have Japheth, the, the, the white people, and Shem, the Arab races, are abusing the darker races, the African races, the races from the southeast of Asia. Look at the indigenous people of Australia. These are black skin race people. And look at them. Horrible. <coughs> Excuse me. So, 
they're fulfilling this prophet, the, the, these biblical stories to the T. The Bible, including the Islamic race, uh, the Islamic uh, religions. So you have Islam, Catholicism, and Judaism are like the oh what's the what's an accurate word for them the gatekeepers of the planet and of the indigenous people and over all humanity they they're the dominant forces they have the same mind they 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 make i'm not a bible scholar or uh, I've never read the Quran. I don't want to pretend. Well, I've read the whole Bible. I read all of the Bible. But I I do not know the Quran. I attempted to read the Quran. And I gave up on it. So, um, Why don't these so-called religions, holy, holy books, why do they produce unholy people? Such unholiness and savagery. So, and you all know in the Americas, and you had the Japheth, and Shem do the primary enslavement of the African people and the Native Australians and the so-called Indian races of the Americas. Yeah, they're not Indians. People from India are Indians. But either way, it's understood in the Americas that they are called Indians. Native American Indians. And the savagery that is done upon these people. And it's, it's still, the legacy of slavery still exists. And so when I was watching this film on Ku- Kuwait, the, the, empl- the helpers, you know, the, the maid service, It's horrific. You see videos of young girls jumping off a balcony to get away from their savage employers. And they did address it the, the apps, this for sale app, computer app. that is facilitating the enslavement of these women. And they were called out on it. The the hosts like um, Google, Apple, and some other companies, Western companies, And of course, they said the politically correct, oh, we don't support that. Oh, it's all, you know, they say all the right stuff, especially Apple. And I think they pulled the app, but, you know, they just replaced it with another app, right? And that's all that's happening. So you see how Western companies slash white people, and the Arab world are so rich. This is modern slavery, folks. The, the trafficking of humans, which is more extensive than the human trafficking that happened in the 1400s, 1500s, 1600s, it's more proliferant. 
because now you have larger ships. You even have planes, right? And you don't need chains. You just make everybody poor on the planet. Desperate. Because again, these nations in Africa and parts of Asia, they had the colonialism. So it's just an extension of the slave system, but they, but now you know they 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 just altered it. So they're not. So it's not chattel slavery, but it's another type of slavery, where they don't have physical chains. They 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 market it all over. But in the Arab world, ladies, ladies. Families in Asia and in Africa, you have to start using your head. You're thinking very short. You are short sighted. You live in Cult of land that is rich. Start cultivating your land with food. It's like you're sitting on a diamond mine, but you're not utilizing the power and the strength of your own land. And unfortunate, this system had altered. See, you guys were tainted by uh, Im imperialism, colonialism, and it altered your lifestyle, the way that you worked with the land. And you've adopted a monetary system that those people control. The European races and the Arab races work together in the monetary system. The banks. It's not, an, it's not an, an indigenous system. This is an invasion. The bank system is a cancer that dominates human spirit, controls us, they create money, paper money, but now they're phasing out the paper money, as you see now. That's, an, that's a, another big thing. Paper money is going to be ruled out. So eventually there won't be any cash selling these people, but it'll all be electronic. But who controls the computer system? Who? Who? but those same type of nations. And so it's going to be invisible money, all, all done by the internet. And you know, computers could crash. They could give you like a credit that, that because there's no cash, so you get like an account that your account is now equivalent to X amount of dollars in whatever currency. And then they could take it away. Who controls the what's on the Internet? But those same savages. So you got invisible money, invisible chains, and it's trafficking, it's using fear to traffic these young girls. Why do you do that to your girls, man? See, these nations, they don't value their women either. There is sexism going on in the world, in Africa, in Asia. And they just see their women as property. When they get married, they, there's money. So there's money exchange between the people to the parents. So it's selling their children. 
property. This is a disease. A system was introduced to the planet. It's a disease, a virus, and it produces fear. You're sitting on the land of plenty, on fertile soil, but you're hungry. And so you sell your children, because that, that's what initially happens. The, the families are destitute. And then you get this middleman or middle lady. Oh, we can get a work for them in another country. And, and they get money. And they bring the person, but they lie to them. See, see, it's not, see, it goes more than just you need a helper, someone to uh, make you a cup of coffee and, and, and iron and wash your clothes. It goes beyond that. It's beyond that. Because if that's what it all was, then you just get a higher employer. I mean, the employer will hire somebody. There's an agreement. But see, you notice on each level, it's, it's a, that they lie. It's, a, it's about lying and hiding intent. And each level has their lie. They obscure truth to that person who's destitute because they're, society that they were born in or their, their village is a village that I guess was ravished with um, colonialism. The, it's now based on, on money, a money system. The money system is annuity. It's a new system. How it, how we, with the current banking system. It's, it's something that's made up. It's not even real. And God forbid, if you attempt to counterfeit money, you'll be thrown in jail. Because it's not real. It's a monopoly system that they use, that they introduce to the planet. Monopoly. We had that game when I was a little girl. It's an evil game. You know that the royal family of, of Britain are not allowed to play that game because they get so violent when they play the game? A game. Because they know it's not a game. And that's what they're about. And they go all over the planet, these aristocracies... The, this, this, what do you call, royalty? We mostly, you know, in the United States, you mostly hear about British royalty. For whatever, well, the U.S. used to be a British colony, the 13 colonies. But you have other royal houses of Europe, but they're not well known. And I understand you have royalty in some parts of Asia as well and in some parts of Africa. And these people seem to uh, they, they have a rulership but in modern times the, it seems like the, the role they play is different because now you have what they call income tax. In the United States uh, income tax came about oh, around the 1930s, was it? Something like that? The late 20s, early 30s. Income tax. So the wealthy had money back then. But now with the income tax, what they have, the, the actual cash, is di it's diminished. They may have things, and they could, again, um, inherit things from relatives so to keep the money in the family. 
but actual cash um, to, to maintain what they have now. Modern day aristocracy, it's another story. But it, it hasn't humbled them. These aristocracy, these ruling classes of people. Outwardly, they look like prim and proper people, right? They look, they look great. But as you see with uh, especially Britain, you can, you, you're learning more about their savage nature. Look what they did with Princess Diana. She's a white girl. She was of the ruling class, an old, very old family, the Spencer family of, of uh, Britain. And she married into the um, royal family. And, uh, they, you know, they, and they have this in, in Britain. It seems like everybody there is messing around with other people's husbands and wives. I, I, I also just uh, two days ago saw that story over the Internet on YouTube about these royal families. Everybody is having an affair with everybody else. And they talked about Prince Charles. Like, this is new to me. Like Prince Charles, I mean, what, what's not new is that he, uh, Prince Charles of Britain, uh, who was married to Princess Diana, who got killed slash murdered in the car crash, he had a mistress. But, you know, he had, he had another mistress, too, this other lady. And the two ladies, Camilla and the other lady, were in, were in rivalry against each other. Even though those two women were married to somebody else, they knew Charles before they were married. But they couldn't marry because, oh, what was the reason? Um, one of them because they were um, involved with the Catholics. See that they, they're, they're prejudiced also about different religions. If, if you're with the Catholic, and again, the royal family is a, a Protestant family, so they have a hatred for Catholics, even though Britain started out Catholic. See that how this religion thing, uh, how it's evil? They, they, it's, it's, it's the same Bible they read, allegedly. But it's the politics behind the church the Catholic Church, and then the Protestant denominations. And they just, it's all about hate. It's some, it, the Bible doesn't produce anything positive. So even amongst these white people slash Europeans, there are prejudices within prejudices but either way, their their character though. See now with with uh, internet, you learn about the their um, practices, you know, and they lack morals. These wealthy people, these people who control nations, and now with the, what was that, Jeffrey Epstein. See, I think they're all related, and that's why I mention all these things. See, they're all related. The, these behaviors and lifestyle of these uh, people who control money, the monopoly game. They make up the rules as they go. And then they say, oh, well, no, you're supposed to follow this rule. And their perversions of humanity are extending to even children. They're selling children in the United States. Remember the, um, oh, what's the name? It starts with an F. 
oh I can't remember but the, but there was a a a a kid what do you call it? The, the, we have in the United States uh, the foster care system oh the Franklin cover up it's called the Franklin cover up and you can watch it over YouTube it's all well documented they were taking Boys in this instance, primarily boys, young boys from foster homes and other places where they have these children. And they would, get this, they were taking these boys to the White House and to this area in, oh, Nebraska at that. There's There's a place called Boys Town. You heard me right. Boys Town, I think it's in Nebraska, and they were prostituting these boys. And the Catholic Church, I think the Catholic Church was also involved and having sex with children and pimping them out to the white in DC. The nation's capital. Wow. See these these ruling class people have nothing else better to do but to do evil. So they, they control your money and now they're controlling the bodies of little children. And they're killing them, these children. They're eating them, these children. And again, I do not know if this was true or urban myth. And I did a video on it uh, just a couple of months ago about allegedly uh, an underground facility was found in our what's called Central Park, where I, go, where I like to go to, you know, for the gardens underground facility at the par- in you know under the park where they were housing children that were kidnapped and they allegedly got rescued now now it was never on the mainstream news but it was on somebody's website again i have no proof whether this was just a made up so see you have a lot of liars out there too they lie about a lot of stuff to cover to to um, act as a distracting of things that really do occur, but I I do not know. Definitive, I do not know at all. They, the the main the main news knew nothing about it, but I would imagine something that big. They were allegedly rescued by the military. But whatever. I'm sure that there are underground bases that are housing all types of people. I'm hearing about uh, underground cities. I've heard about tunnels from one country to another, even under the ocean, trafficking people. Again, I don't know if this is true. But, you know, we have the technology to make underground cities. I mean, if we can make a subway system, which is maybe three stories deep. You know, I take this, I used to take the subway. And it's underground. So I could just imagine that the others, I mean, even during, what do you call it, the... Um, when slavery existed in the United States, chattel slavery, what they call the Underground Railroad. There were facilities underground, tunnels. So nothing really changed. It's maybe the, the veneer might seem a little different, but it's really all the same thing. To traumatize people, and extract their energy, whether it's sexual energy, whether it's 
uh, physical energy of, of doing a task. And again, the people could just have an honest and open work relationship. You need someone to wash your dishes. Okay, get someone to wash your dishes and then let them go home. You know, you know why don't you respect human labor, people? Because who made the Bible and Quran? And I know I'm not supposed to say those words. But you have to examine it. That they're, they, they're always affiliated. Some type of God system. And then the laws behind it and the, and the sentiment because when you read scripture they talk about who they talk about they talk about different types of people and what did what happened to these people war um, also it's a war against women see we don't want to talk about that either all those things the the bible the new test what they call the new testament um, the the Jesus character it, it talks about you know the you know to to stop it was to stop the inhumanity and the letter of the law and to to be heart centered. That's what it attempted to address, heart centeredness amongst the Jews because they're becoming a legalist. And, and criminal in their behavior towards one another because she had the ruling um, religious class imposing on the non-ruling class. But you have the new religions that, that, that developed what we call the, the New Testament. The, I mean, like, it seems like the New Testament, even though Jesus is saying one thing, but it it created a monster system with the veneer of the Jesus character. But they don't they, they don't focus on what he's about. He was about freedom and liberty and love, the character, but the people who are in charge, like the Vatican. And you know the Catholic Church was a part of the slave trade. They they were behind it. They used the Bible to put shame on the indigenous population in the Americas and Africa. You don't see the Vatican giving out money. You know, the, the Vatican should be charged with crimes against humanity and their institution dismantled and all its money given out to the former victims. You all hear about the, the, the Catholic Church and those boys that they rape. I know I'm getting graphic. I I know. I mean, I I know the subject is kind of heavy. I say these things not not to be a bigot about religion, one's religious beliefs. I am attacking the criminality behind the institution because there's nothing wrong with love thy neighbor. That's beautiful. But the institution is something else. And it's a world disaster. And I'm very saddened when I watch that show about the, the people of, of Kuwait who are abusing their non-Kuwaiti employer, employees. They're no longer employees. They're being used as slaves. And 
to have a law that when you get employed as a domestic, you have to stay there. If you don't like something, you have you should have the right to leave. So that's a, a crime against humanity. And then they trade them and sell these girls to other Kuwaitis. That wasn't in their con. See that? See how these cultures, you know, remember with um, in Genesis you had uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and how those people they they originated from uh, from Iraq. Hear that? That's where they're from originally. They're from Iraq. They're Iraqis. They are Iraqis, ancient Iraqis. And how they scam each other. Remember one of the girl, one of them wanted to marry this girl, Rachel was it? yeah, one he he wanted Rachel. Oh, okay. And then they gave her gave him the older girl and they said, Oh, we're not custom, uh we hi they we, we, we marry the, the elders first. Well, you should have told that to that person and give them the opportunity to say, oh, okay, I'll, I'll work for both girls. Or give always say, you know, never mind. See that? And these are the same mentality of modern day Iraqis slash Kuwaiti. They're all in the same area. They all have the same mindset. See that the Bible is a clue of the mental um, evils of these people, the practices of these criminal minds. Yeah, it's, it's, they, they tell you what they're about. And so the, um, the, the keeper of the Bibles want to maintain it, and they have their rituals. And they continue in their evils. You know, certain people, you don't need no Bible to do evil. Just do, you know. <laughs> why use the Bible? Why, why pretend ab about, because there's nothing good about it, really. Why, why, why you have, they have like a, what do you call it? Like, um, like I forget the terms that they use. That like they have this the, the Bibles or the Quran and the other all the other religious material on this thing in worship. They, it's like they are using the religious scriptures as like um, oh. Like something that has a power, there's power in it. See, if you're focusing on that Bible, see, I, I, I'm gathering. It's just a thought that came to my mind, and, and you could share with me what you think. The, the, the religious scriptures has energy attached to it because it accumulated this energy. And any time you read it, Whatever way you pay attention to or focus upon uh, receives your energy. So for thousands of years, those words in that book receive power slash your energy. When you looked at it, when you held it in your hand, and so they have it on their, oh, that's the word, altar. They have it on their altar. And then, then, then they do their prayers. What is a prayer? Basically, a prayer is an uh, incantation. And so they, they give their magic slash incantation, utilizing the energy that's in those scriptures to do their will. What is their will? What is it all about? Those kids that are being used, or those maids and all that that's being used, is to gather their energy also. 
it's a it's a it's another meal it's another meal they they they're literally being eaten and the energies are being exploited it's it's a savagery that these people have naturally through the perversion uh, through those uh, scriptures that scripture i mean just look at them you know they they imprison themselves they you know in the arab world they don't even like their own women they at least like in saudi arabia you know if you're a woman in saudi you you you're not you're not really a wife i mean you're a wife you know you better be married if you if you have sex <laughs> if you're a female we know the men are doing other things those brothels but either way they're enslaving their own women. A woman is the property of the girl's father or then the girl's husband when she gets married. And any male family member is her handler. So in those Arab nations, you know, in the Arabian Peninsula. Those are the Arabs. The North Africans are not Arabs. But they may have some who migrated there. Okay? And they are oppressing their own women. They, their bodies are not their own. Their limited education. And again, they, they, they have their religion. And they impress their own people. What could you imagine? How does this happen? How could you enslave your own wife, your own children? And then they do these rituals upon their genitalia. So do you think these people are happy? If you're walking around, have it being uh, altered down there if you're a woman, you think she's happy? So you bet when these foreign women come in and you, you, you bet you let your husband mess with those ladies because it's almost impossible for you to have... Um, Relations with your husband because the pain that happens to you down below. Yeah, they, they do different degrees of female genital mutilation, but all of them have their clitoris removed, so there's no sexual enjoyment. So you think that woman's happy? So this is a torture, modern-day torture. And, and, and torturing is in different levels upon the Arab woman. And, you know, they do it also in Africa, too. In Africa, though, they do it even more savagery. The further south you go in Africa, the more savage and brutality of this um, female genital mutilation. It's an evil, and it's to promote, see, get this, pain and suffering, pain and suffering, an act that's supposed to be pleasurable for both partners is only pleasurable for him. So it's a misogyny. I know I'm kind of going all over the place, but it's all related. It is a misogyny, Man against the womb and labor in general. Labor. And also, you say, okay, you, you focus on the women, but you know, um, slavery upon the male. Like they, like you see in the Middle East, all those fancy buildings that they have out now. Well, the men build that. The Asian men they use for that, for the labor. Yeah, uh, but like the so-called engineers, 
they get them from the U.S., you know, white countries. So they get a little better, but uh, they, they cannot mingle with the general population. They have them in, they call them compounds, compounds. It's, it's a housing or like a barracks for the foreign employees, I mean, yeah, employees from Europe, United States, Canada, places like that, who are the engineers of these building projects. They're not, all really, they're not I mean, they, they, they have to stay there. They can't go out. And that, but if you're like an Asian, like from India, Pakistan, that's where they get them from, the engineers, I mean the uh, uh, builders. And they force, they live in, in, in things that are unimaginable, in cramped places. See, so it's showing, it's showing the level of racism that these Arabs have. So again, Japheth, they're going to, Japheth and those nations, people that, that live under Japheth, are treated one way, a little better, but Asians and Afri- or Af- if they even use any Africans for the projects, the building, you know, the construction workers, they live in horrible working conditions, and they're overworked, and many of them are dying. They fall off the buildings. These, these people in those countries, they love their big buildings. You know, it's a phallic symbol. Those tall buildings represent the male's anatomy of their strength. And it's all of it's male power. I call it male perversion. There's nothing wrong with male power. And no, this is not about an anti-male. Not at all. You have to respect both, male and female. You notice there's no female representation there in those countries? If you have a male phallic symbol, you need a female. And when you don't see both, you need both. It's an imbalance of that power. And it's run amok in the Middle East, what they call the Middle East. So the men that work construction there are dying like flies also. But I imagine that theirs is more hidden, their outcome, because um, they're not living in somebody's home, and they're, you know, they're in the general population because they're living inside the people's homes. But they're not allowed outside. They're not allowed. So it's slavery. It's a modern-day slavery. And it's being um, condoned. They condone it. I'm sure the UN knows about it. But instead, they want to make up this, oh, the World Health Organization, another uh, bully agency, pretending to be about people's health. Well, isn't slavery affecting people's health? See, they're bully organizations. And they're just running amok, causing so much harm. Yeah, I I wonder now with this coronavirus, how are these people able to get, you know, this coronavirus? How how are they handling that, that in those countries, Kuwait? Saudi, because I'm sure those people still don't want to make their own cup of coffee. They have an aversion to work. See, that's because of they're given um, lordship because of these Bibles, because they're Shem and Japheth. And these Bible, these these religious scriptures, 
is um, hurting the indigenous people. So how is this going to play out now, now that you have the world under a lockdown? Your school system, the schools are opening. I mean, um, it's, it's a college season now. At least in New York City, that, that they usually open, at least the colleges open uh, the last week of August. And so that's that's this coming that's this week. Oh, what's the the point I was bringing out now? So, where where how are people going to navigate in this system with coronavirus? Being another, see, they they're implementing a new system of control over the whole planet. And I think it was inevitable. And uh, I, I don't know whether, I mean, because this coronavirus started in, in uh, China. But in the United States, uh, under the, uh, the current president he, of here, uh, th- radicalism was developed. Was, was happening. People boycotting. It is a lot of violence. I'm wondering whether this coronavirus was implemented to throw down the U.S., but with stealth. Because I heard about. I know I'm, I sound a little over the all over the place, but it's all related. So you have things that happen in the U.S. And then you want to destroy a system. But you can't be too direct with it. So remember you heard about Harvard School, Harvard in the United States, Harvard University? Created something in a lab, I heard. And and these students had sent it over to China. There were some collaborations done. And then you had the epidemic there. And then they bring it over to the U.S. and the world. We have systems. And our system that we have in the U.S. may have been also being done in other countries. And it's a no-no. They wanted to end that system. And so they wanted to overthrow it. They can't outright, I mean, they can, but they don't want to outright, you know, what they did to JFK. So you create a, 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 a pandemic or a plandemic, and these religions, they, they're all part of a system. They're all bedfellows. And now they want to change it and overthrow well, this planet, it's like, it's like labor pains now. See, everything affects everything else. That's what I'm saying also here. Everything you see that goes on in these other countries are symptoms of what's going on in that nation, the mindset of these people. What's happening in those countries over there, it's happening here because we're all interconnected. Look at what was happening with black people in America. People being choked. I even saw a video recently. I think it took place in uh, Australia. Australia's getting in the bad system. I had no idea. I mean, I, I met people from Australia, and they're very friendly. But it was a cop grabbed this young female, looked like early 20s or late teens, grabbed her by the throat and was choking her and pushed her against the wall. And a female cop watching, and the girl could not fight off the guy, but was kicking the lady lady cop next to her. And then the guy threw her on the ground, grabbed her by the throat, 
put on, on the ground to subdue. It was unbelievable. And it, it was a white girl, white people. So it's not just people of color, but white people are being mistreated also. That's right, white people are being mistreated by system. See, each location, now Australia got a lot of whites. They outnumber the indigenous population. So the, the indigenous population lives out in the boonies, horrible conditions. And so everybody left in the mainstream is all white people. But now the corona is affecting the life of those people there. It's, it's, it's chaos. Chaos. So chaos in Australia, New Zealand. Chaos in the United States. Chaos in Europe. And then the labor in Africa. I mean, you don't really hear that much about corona in Africa. But uh, it's a world, a world uh, crisis. So something has to give. It's labor pains we're having now. And so I just, I, I, I plead with the listener of this video. I know it's long. But please, please take hold of your humanity. There is, a, like they say, coronavirus. Well, yes, there is a virus upon the whole entire planet. It's a virus that was in existence from the very beginning. It's a... a such a pervasive virus. It goes beyond corona. It's a sickness. You have people who are tapping onto the energy of the planet. I know this sounds bizarre. But just look, just look. Use your eyes, people. Use your eyes. This pandemic thing is just... Um, a distractant of the real virus that's infecting the whole planet. And it's out to gather your soul, your energy. It is an evil. It is an AI, artificial intelligence. It's something, and it's like a net over the whole planet that is being used to affect your mind. It's a whole system. It blankets the whole planet. It could be the technology that's doing it, but something. Be with, so I'm telling you these things People, see, because see, there's different hierarchies of abuse. But ultimately, it's a global abuse. Everybody is getting it. But it's just some people are getting it more. But ultimately, the, the so-called rich, they're going to get theirs. They, 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 they're all, because see, these, that's how the, the, some people call it Satan or the devil. But ultimately, all will be consumed by the devil, the system. What you you know, so it's symbolic of a system of the real invaders of planet Earth out to destroy it. And that's what the movie The Matrix was really all about. I also challenge you. See, there's something. There's something over the whole planet. It's it's a an energy. Uh, a current, it, it's in invisible, you cannot s physically see it, but you see its effects. Um, you can see this, I, I want you to get this point, 
and you can verify it yourself. When you, a, a clue to its existence is when you wake up from a sleep, keep your eyes closed, say, stay s- still, and just relax. And keep your mind clear. And, you know, keep your eyes closed. And you're going to start seeing things. I've been doing this practice on and off since 2017. And your mind is able to tap into other real. I, I still don't know what it is, actually. I don't know whether it is remote, what they call remote viewing. But you start to see things. You may see other locations and people. I've seen people, locations that I've never been to. And I've seen what looks like out of space, uh, spacecrafts, all these things. Try it. It's, it's, not, it's no magician's trick. It is this that is governing the world system, I think. I'm not sure what it is, but there, maybe it's parallel universe. I, I don't know what it is, but, you, but, but it's a different frequencies. Think of it as a radio station, and you, can turn, you have a radio, and you can turn the channel. They exist, and you, you can't see radio waves. But you can hear it when you have the correct device. Well, your brain is that radio. And it can pick up different frequencies, different channels, and could show you different things that are happening as you lie in bed. I don't, I don't fully understand it. But I think it's these things, the people or the beings that control this invisible network is actually controlling your life, your conscious life. And that's the real secret. And that is the real secret of humanity. And I'll say it again. That is the real secret of what's happening in humanity. Everything that you see physically are symptoms of the uh, beings that are controlling your your mind, your body. Yeah, so when you sleep, your mind is elsewhere. It's existing. It's doing something. That's the real secret. That is the real secret of humanity. And uh, some of us may be better at seeing these different frequencies or or these realms. But the movie The Matrix is just a, a, a taste of what's going on over your, your being. Okay? So I thank you all for listening, for your feedback, you're welcome. You know, your feedback is welcome. Let me know what you think. But the main thing in my message here is take hold of your humanity because they're going to take it away from you and force you to live an existence of slavery. Take care, guys. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.